You can go back on your word. And he's probably right. I got too many irons in the fire. That's what I got going on. <laughs> well, I've seen some videos in Neve of you guys. You're fixing up something as well. It was up on the lift. Yeah, that's a, uh, the Impala. Yeah. The Impala, okay. And whose is that? He's mine. <laughs> We figured we got two vehicles, the Camaro and the Impala. The Impala is my year, 79, yep. and the, oh, it's right, 68. So it's the year he was born and the Camaro is the year I was born. So we figured the Camaro will be mine, 79, and he can have, but I want the Impala now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it better. Ken's gonna have his work cut out for him doing mm -hmm. all this <laughs> All right, so we're looking for a short bed, late model, early model Chevy. All right, so when it comes to looking at these cans, now obviously this looks Ooh. rough, but when all of this is going to be changed, yeah. we're mainly concerned with yeah. the frame of it, right? That, that. And um, if somebody's done changed, but they didn't do it right, so it's going to be rebound. Okay. So it needs new rockers, floorboard. And how bad is bad rust? Like that uh, looks like it's you. still in good, but... Well, this one's... This one's bad. This one? <laughs> yeah. But you got it here in the bottom of the door. Right. The bottom of that. See the holes in it? Okay. You got the whole bedside all the way down it. And it's got holes. That, yeah, see them? Yep, I see them. And that's been caused by just rust. Right. Well, even this here, then this would be bad rust as well. Uh, uh, I mean, it, you basically got to replace that. Okay. So if you replace that, if you replace that, you replace the floorboard. You replace this because it peed up with rust. Yeah. Same thing on the other side. You replace the whole bed. You've replaced the whole, basically half of the cab. All right. We need to find a frame that's got a bit more better um less rust in it. Day one of the project. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say what the bottom of this bed looks like, but the side looks pretty good. But that's just this bed. It might be in there. And we could always put a different used bed and cap together. Yeah. So what year would this be? I don't know. It's a the headlights look like they're late 60s. Yeah, yeah it's definitely late 60s. Maybe 70s. Maybe some to be well, what's the, one of the main things to look out for if we are going to put a different new cab and a different new bed together? Can anything fit on anything? Yeah, 67 B, 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 B. Okay. Did you guys see all the hoods over here? Yeah. Big stack of them. Okay. <laughs> there is a good stack there. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to look there because it's so colourful. <laughs> I like the body of it. Yeah. And the square bodies are so popular now. Yeah. Square bodies are used right now. Done upright, they could be a good investment. Mm -hmm. Rocker panel, 
heat up. That's pretty typical on these cars. So that's not saveable? Yeah. Well, this ain't. You cut no. this out, put a new one in. Mm -hmm. See, it comes off right there. There. Comes there, and you just replace that all together. And the lower quarter, the lower right here behind the door is usually heat up too. You just get a little patch panel to fix that with. You can buy all that stuff. More well, more ahead than when we started off with this morning. <laughs> uh, At least I know the type of grill that I want. Yes. 70s grill, short bed, pickup. And like Ken said, the hardest thing would be to find the cab. The yellow one? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, someone could use that in their garden and just <laughs> grow things from it. Yes. <laughs> Have flowers coming out of it. What do you think, Neve? You want to take it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> grow it next to your impala? That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> We might just do that when we come back for years. <laughs> so something like that can't be fixed as opposed to something on the side of a door where you can just make an additional piece. Well, you can, you can get a new pan in the back of this. But then that would mean getting a whole new... Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could actually probably buy these. This, this, that that all separate you know and put them together and make it better but it's all aftermarket stuff and some of it ain't bad some of it's a little bit challenging to get it to fit right mm-hmm I get parts here. I don't know that you can get a good base here. You know what okay. I'm saying? Uh, what would be best is if we could find a complete truck. Yep. It's been in somebody's barn. You know, regardless if it's a long box or a short box, as long as it's complete. You know, if you look at most of these. The seats missing the glove box. And that's the kind of components you want to already be there. People have robbed the good stuff off of them. Right. And if you buy one like this, then. And these are all exposed to the elements too. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's in someone's barn, then yeah. it might be. Mm -hmm. Or e even being in a barn, it's pro probably going to have some damage, but it's, it's more than likely a complete car. Okay. Possibly even the original owner. And it might have low miles, which that don't really matter, but that just means it's in that much better shape. Yep. Because it's got 55,000 original miles on it. It's been sitting in the barn for 25 years, you know. It's got it's got good bones. It's okay. To start with. It could be a long bed because we got a frame. Yep. It could be uh, it, it could be a fleet side, and we could we got a box step side. And, and we can, can add things to them, yep. And we can modify it from there to how you want it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if we needed something, we could always come back right. here and... A, this is a good place to come to get parts. Yep. I mean, you can find, you can find a hood if it had a bad hood. You yep, because they had a big collection of hoods. Yeah. You could find a fender, you could find that, you could find inner fenders, hinges, glove box, stuff like that. You can find all that kind of stuff here, but it's not... Little dashes, odometers. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not a good base start, if you know what I mean. Yep. To, to purchase a base because there's so much missing on all of them, and the stuff that's left on them is stuff you've got to replace. So you're starting with 
half of the truck and taking that other half off and starting all over. Okay, well that definitely makes sense. See somebody's, somebody's done put that on there. You can buy them, they've added that, but now it's eat up, plumb up into here. Mm -hmm. So that wouldn't be a good, that wouldn't be a good fender to, to take. Yeah. But you can find them here that ain't beat up like that. That are still good. Pots. If we need one, yeah, for that part. I think I've got I think I've got two hoods, a grill, two frames, and I'll look about that set bed. I'm pretty sure I can get it if that kind of routes you're thinking of taking. Yeah, I'm liking the step bed side of things. Yeah. Just so I could jump on top of that and, and get into the bed without opening the back. <laughs> it's been in a barn for 20 something years. So okay. It's all horses, so it's more than that, you're in pretty good shape. Okay. Uh, no, bud. Mm. Well, Kent, I'm guided by you. I know what I want and I know the look that I want, but yeah. at the end, you're going to guide me on what's going to work. And what's going to be like, no, Rana, that doesn't go. <laughs> I don't, we didn't go back there, but I don't think there's anything there. And this is Yeah. Doesn't look like it's in bad nick. No, no, it's, it's got a couple up here that look like they're in pretty good shape. Still look. But the thing is, it's long box. Right. So, yeah. This one's been, don't look bad, but if you can see here. It's been touched. It's been, it's had its hands off. People have their hands all over it. You don't know what kind of damage it is. You can see that's full of Bondo. So you, you'd be starting with something that's rough in the first place. Mm -hmm. Or covered up and you don't really know. Covered up, exactly. So once we strip back the paint, yeah, then you'll see and what you really got. we'll see what we've really got. That's one of good to find one that an old farmer has had and he's put it up in his barn. It's been there for 20 years. All right, well, it looks like we're going over there to visit the farmer next. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be, you know, you're talking probably more money. Yep. Than, than but then if it's going to, it'll, it'll, it'll save us time uh, in and the long run. cost in the long run. Money. Yep. If it's complete and you know what you got to start with. Okay. Now, definitely we should have a look. You know, that's the thing, to save shortcuts now, yeah. you're just looking at a bigger headache later on. So, first project, don't want to be doing shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get something where I'm driving and halfway through and I'm breaking down or <laughs> something's happened. <laughs> or worse, I got Ken giving up on me saying, nah, this is an absolute dud. <laughs> then I'd really be left without a pickup. <laughs> All right, so a bit of a curveball here. We're going to go and check out a full truck. A, what was it, 72? Yeah. 72 square body. And um, yeah, so we'll go have a look at that. And I don't know, looking at all possibilities, all the options at this stage. <laughs> She's sweet. Yeah, huh? Runs real nice. This needs to be detailed. Detailed at a, at a truck show, at, well, at the, the Truck Nationals probably in Nashville, it would probably bring 40, 45. Yeah, just don't get Dean in it. Just the way it is detailed. Or any plates. No, right. Did you see the inside? Yeah. Yeah, the only scratches and rust, you're looking at it inside the bed there. 
Yeah, just to wear and tear. There's hardly any. The bed don't look like it's ever had anything in it. No, it's never been worked. That's what it's on my cover. Cover? Yeah. Well, you can typically tell. You can appreciate this stuff, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, you know this. stuff but I can only imagine the work that somebody would put in just to get in a bed oh yeah right yeah. with all them uh, all that's got to be fixed yeah. every bit if you really want a nice truck all that's got to be fixed yeah the only thing you got with the trucks nowadays is if it if it's uh, if it has been worked it's going to be wallered like yeah, this. yeah in between the so then runners. they got it they got to put in a new truck a new floor mm -hmm. and you know you know you're talking a thousand dollars for the floor and then be, depending on the body shop, uh, $500 to put it in, much mm -hmm. less to even get it ready for paint. Yeah. Yeah, they're just ridiculous anymore. Paint shops, I mean, that's why this, this big patina craze is going on. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was just thinking that, exactly. And now, yeah. now that's changed because now a patina paint job, a fake one, Yes. That looks right is more expensive than a regular paint job. Yeah, to get one to look like it's got yeah, patina. Yeah, they're $15,000 on a patina paint job. Why don't you just paint the truck? <laughs> yeah. There it's was the, one, but it's the look, you know. It is that there, was one that crossed, uh, there was one that crossed the, uh, uh, the Thursday Macon auction in Atlanta. And it was one of those fake patina deals. It brought $21,000. Yeah. The guy had fifty in it. Mm. Ken, do you want to go look at the hood? I or under the, the hood? front of it a little right. bit. Right. And you said it was 34,000 miles? Yeah, 38. 38, sorry. I'm sorry, I cut the lights off already. That's it. <laughs> oh, you can see in the dark? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Reels good, bumpers good. Kent, what about um, shaving some of this down? Yeah, that's money there. To shave it down? Uh-huh. And then bring the seats lower? Do what? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> he might not sell it to you. I know, don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... Nothing, nothing, nothing. Did you say shave the drip rail? Oh, if we wanted to. Goodness, I've got one over here. Somebody started, he's got about half of it done. And it rusted all the way through the calf. Oh. It didn't seal it right. Mm. I like this name. See the grills? Yes. Yep. And then I'll put the. Um, oh, I see what the, you were talking about maybe earlier. Yeah. See that? The bullet. What did you call it? The billet grill. The billet mm. grill. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's blended. <It's> <laughs> Oh, the owner may not want to sell it to me if I'm talking I about know all you're this. I'm not thing. listening to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you get a virgin like this, you're, you you want to build a fancy one. You want to build a grill and bags and all that crap. Chop the top. All that crap. <laughs> Did you see the um? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. All crate motor. Let's see what the sticker on it. Just solid. that this was all of it was original yeah this is a complete original car there's not a there's not a dent in the bed no right. no not a dent in the bed all original and even with me doing some modifications on it it's still gonna have its original stuff you know
exactly what I was looking for to say the least. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking of the late 60s, but the grill that I wanted is the early 70s and mm -hmm. seats were in. How good were the seats? Yeah, they were almost perfect. I can't believe he pulled that out of left field, that he had this thing hidden away. Yeah, he was so hesitant <laughs> in trying to take us in there. And then last minute, he's like, do you want to see it? <laughs> Didn't even want to show us unless we were serious to buy it. He was funny. Well, I gotta see his truck as well now, right? It'd be yeah. fun to go see. Oh, buds? Yeah. I don't know if he'll let you see his truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're with us, he'll let you see it. <laughs> really he's got, he's got, he's got stuff there I've never seen. Okay. That's under lock and key. But if you wanted to see it, he would show oh, you. The buildings there I'll never see inside of. Oh, really? Yeah. It's such a tight road. I know, you're doing good. She's a race car driver. No, not yet. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's just a pretty horse. I wasn't sure that I wanted to ride. With me? Yeah. Why? Well, for one, I didn't know what side of the road they drove on in Australia. Uh, we well, drive on the other side of the road, Kent. Opposite of this side? Yes. I thought so. <laughs> that kind of made me a little scary. When I first started driving here in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and that was the only time I'd ever driven in America, every other time Michael did, um, I kept going to the edge. Yes. Yeah. I kept going up to the edge and especially going through the mountains up to Pigeon Forge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had some trouble for two for the first two weeks and then my um I had like shoulder pain because I was trying to concentrate too hard. Ah. But by the third week it's like okay. It's yeah. Fine. You had to use a new muscle. <laughs> yes. All right, everybody, back inside the she shed, and um, there's a lot going through my mind. Okay, so we just we went out, and um, that was day one. Well, in addition to that, we've been looking online as well through Facebook and ads. Um, but this was really good for me to actually go out there to the junkyard, and I'll call it a junkyard. But I mean, the guy had a lot of pretty good stuff if you can if you wanted to use the parts and put them together. But I appreciated getting up close to um, the cars, the parts, and uh, more than that, getting up close to the rust and really feeling it and seeing exactly what would be workable and what would not be workable. So that was really good. It was a good eye opener for me. Um, I mean, at this stage, I'm, I'm really looking at having short bed. They're so popular and they look more sporty as well. So I think that's the path I'm going down. Um, as you saw at the end, uh, Dane, uh, the owner of the junkyard, he, he took us to the shed and he showed us the 72. The 72 is a great truck. It's completely done. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's got such small, you know, little mileage on it as well. Um, so obviously whoever got this didn't use it as much, which is why there were so many things in very good condition. And it's very tempting. And that's what I've just been thinking about. Um, if I was to get that there's a lot of stuff that I could do to it but at the same time it's a lot of money as well for what he's um he's asking for so that truck there um at that time when we asked him it was uh 28,000 or 28 and a half thousand and while that's fine for anybody getting that truck and just using it because it's honestly all original parts original engine running working everything for what I'm looking for, I just, I feel like I, I, I'm at the stage where I want to learn more, get my hands dirty, and I don't think I'll get my hands that dirty with that truck. And if I do, then I'm just wasting money pulling, you know, apart a really good truck and then putting more money into it. So I'm looking for an absolute project, you know, something, you know, less than 8,000. 
because I'm going to be changing a lot of things on it. Um, obviously the whole engine, the interiors, all of that, I'm going to be spending money on that. So we, because of that, I have to be cautious, even though it's very tempting to get that truck. So I haven't fully made up my mind, but that was day one of my vlog. And like I said, I wanted to share everything with you guys. Um, that's where my mind is at. And we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, it's exciting. I'm excited. And yes, I have chosen to do a truck because we need one for starters. <laughs> and um, I don't have a truck. I live in Tennessee and my husband and I don't have a truck. So that's why I wanted to do a truck. But also, they just look so cool. They look really cool. I'm loving the patinas and um, the Chevy. I'm going down the Chevy path just because I like the 70s model Chevy square body style and um the grills i like the look of that as well and because i'm planning to like slam it and put it on air rides i just feel like they look better than the fords um so that's where my mind is at that's where my thoughts are at and next um couple of weeks i'm going to be checking out some more stuff so i will be filming and then putting out the videos um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed that but that's keeping up with me and the project. This is completely early stages and hopefully everything goes well and I can actually have videos where I'm working on the track that I finally find. And then of course the entire process up to the paint, the interiors, everything. And I wanna be a part of that. So for that reason, I've got my friend um, Kent who's gonna be helping me. You saw him in the video. I mean, he's an absolute wealth of knowledge. He mumbles a little bit sometimes and he doesn't talk as loud as me. So I might have to mic him up, <laughs> but he's awesome and he knows his stuff and I couldn't have asked for a better friend to help me out. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.